in this video we will see how to install eclipse plugins on our eclipse ide at first we need to open eclipse once eclipse is opened then we have to click on help once the help is clicked a menu will be popped up from here we have to choose eclipse marketplace once we click eclipse marketplace we'll find a search box over here here we just need to type test ng and then hit enter key or return key of our keyboard and we will see the first one is the plugins for eclipse and there is a install button to install it we just need to click here and then it will open this type of thing at first it is trying to download something or it is gathering some information here we have to make sure all the options are selected now in the bottom of the window we'll find on confirm button once the confirm button is clicked it will start downloading or configuring some of the option and it will open this type of agreement type of page we just need to accept all the terms or condition or the agreement then once we select there then we have to click on the finish button we'll find the finish button at the bottom of the window i'm going to click the finish button and once i click the finish button the ide will start downloading the required files or things for test ng and we have to wait few seconds till we get the trust authorities window from the trust authorities window we have to choose couple of trusts so here we are seeing the trust authorities window is appeared we just need to click the select all this button and everything will be selected so i'm going to click here the select all button and i'm seeing that it is selecting all the things now at the bottom we'll find another button that is called trust selected we just need to click here to confirm the trust selected once we click there then it will start trusting the whole things for test ng and id environment and the window will be closed shortly and very soon and the trust authorities window will be appeared we have to complete the same thing again we are going to click the select all and once we confirm select all then we have to click the trust selected button again i'm going to click here again and then it will finish downloading or installing everything and we will find the restart button very shortly here we are seeing that the restart now button is enabled i mean we need to restart whole thing then we can able to use the plugin for our eclipse i'm going to hit the restart now this button and very shortly the window will be closed that means the ide will be closed and it will start shortly we just need to wait few seconds till it loaded the eclipse id completely and after the eclipse id is loaded successfully then we will again verify whether that plugin that means the test ng plugin is installed successfully or not the test ng plugin verification is very simple i mean whether it is installed properly or not to verify it we have just have to follow few steps it's very simple and easy so i see the eclipse id loaded successfully now again we have to do the same procedure we just need to click on the help menu and then the menu will be appeared and from there we can actually choose the eclipse is it there or not so i'm going to click help and then from here i'm going to choose the eclipse marketplace once we click the eclipse marketplace will find the same type of window we have to wait few seconds till it loaded successfully now here on the top there are couple of tabs are there we are seeing there are couple of tabs so one of the tab is install we just need to click there to check whether the test ng plugin is installed properly or not it is the shortcut so i'm going to click here and then here we are seeing the test ng for eclipse that is there and there is no install button for this case that means it that means it installed successfully and if we click this drop down i mean this button 
we'll find couple of options but there is nothing like install that means it installed successfully now we are ready to use this test ng plugins to write our test cases we can close this window because we don't need any more because we already installed and verified that's it in this way we can easily install test ng for our eclipse id if you face any issue or problem please put in the comment section thank you for watching the video see you on the next video